What's going on, guys? So today on this Shoki review, we're going to be taking a look at something new in the HG Iron-Blooded Orphans line. And it is the Iron-Blooded Orphans Mobile Suit Gundam Uder Hunt. Sure. Uh, HG 1144th Cyclases? Cyclases? I'm good, just taking a stab there. Schwab Custom. And it is, well, it's a new freaking Grace. You guys should know how I feel about grazes, yeah? Yeah. And what's interesting about this one is it actually has a Bandai Namco label up there because it is from the mobile app slash game, question mark, not entirely certain. And uh, down here, of course, says Bandai Spirits 2022, Bandai Bluish Spirits logo there. You guys remember the red logo? Barely. All right, and you do have the amazing image here of the beautiful like more of a kind of reddish uh, schwab of course we know the blue schwab and we know the purple schwab this is the red schwab but it is a custom which is even cooler let's be honest here he's even got neato guns you got little shooty bits here you've got asteroids you got explosions and thruster fire so that's cool all right if we come down to this part of the box we'll see enjoy creating impressive poses by using its whole body structure and uh, there is an internal structure of its head that includes a spherical part has been recreated. And multiple movable points have been recreated on its waist. Oh, good for you. All right. Three thruster units are equipped on its back and hips. Oh, I guess that's mostly true for sure. Two unique exclusive handguns are included. And then right there, uh, pull out mechanisms enable bold movement. Uh, pff, whoa. <laughs> whoa, box. Ooh, I mean, you already got the suggestive arrows. I don't even talk about pulling out movements. All right, and then uh, it's equipped with buckler shield on its left hand. Buckler shield. Interesting. Complete pro The completed product in this image has been painted. Some images show the product on action base 5 sold separately. And then around this side, of course, you get its number 44 in the line. Doesn't seem like a whole lot, does it? And then Bandai Hobby Dunnert. And then a whole lot of stuff just written across there. That's a whole lot of English. I think that says Schwab Custom, and it's a Cyclase. I, I gotta wonder if this is Cyclases, and maybe this is just custom. I don't actually know. Hmm. All right, and then we come around to this side. Man, that seems dark. Look, it's, where's, where's my light? I don't know. All right, uh, let's see here. Obligatory front and rear shot there. Package contains one set of that. Okay, cool. Cyclase Schwab Custom is MS at former Gellhorn Officer Cyclase Meyer. Mayor? Meyer? Meyer? Stole when he killed a spirit and ran away from his squad. Ooh. Naughty boy. And then uh, here's some stuff here with more grazes. Yay. And then there you've got... Uh, Make sure you keep it away from three-year-olds as uh, they just can't handle the coolness. And uh, Gunpla, nipper thingies, no glue required in case you guys have ever wondered. You got PSPE product materials. You got Polybag PP, little guy on a toilet. Yep. And, of course, no price right there. Illustration is by Morishita Naochika, essentially my uh, favorite artist of all time, Gunpla-wise. There we go. It's still upside down. New grays still upside down on a Shoki review. Do you guys haven't been here long enough to know why things are uh, upside down? Well, it is what it is. All right, let's take a look. Oh yeah, no build montage. I I, I had to have speed build. So stop. All right. All right, guys, so here is the Schwab Custom, or Schwab Custom, if you want to be like that, and it's cool. It's very red. Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's more of a crimson, not, not like a straight-up bold red, it's more of a crimson color. Uh, not quite as red as, say, uh, Grimgaard or things like that, and definitely not in the pinkish line as uh, anything that Shino would have been driving, but definitely an interesting interesting color you got the reds and the browns and the deep blues really interesting color separation as it goes i mean to have the light grayish tan frame is also interesting and uh yes i straight built this even using the stickers out of the box uh and i'm gonna not lie to you uh half of them suck it, it just 
is what it is as we you know, get there. Also, I'm not used to looking at something this small. It's a little difficult, if I'm honest. All right, so let's zoom in on that head. And it's definitely a schwabby, schwabby head where you got the cool separate upper visor and lower visor. Now, the annoying thing is it adds these really two, really cool two new ears, which I that's not the annoying part. The stickers that go on them are. And at the time of building this, I didn't have any paint on hand to actually just kind of mask off and paint that. And now I wish I had. However, I still could in the past. I will tell you right now, this head right out of the box was so loose it would not stay on and i don't know if you guys can see this i actually cut off a little bit of chrome sticker stuck it in there just to actually add some extra friction and thickness now i don't know if it's a mold degradation problem from this side or the poly cap side i'm gonna bet the poly cap is a hair too small and it is a double jointed or double ball joint poly cap as we're all used to so the head can look up it can look down can look side to side along with the torso moving and of course you can rotate it and get a nice profile shot of the head there i mean it's actually really really cool uh but the the freaking ear stickers are about as pathetic as they ever are anytime you have to have something go over like a command fin or a quote unquote v fin sticker they're always bad not to mention i removed the safety nubs which made it even weirder so i think ultimately you can actually see how rough it is a little bit back there so ultimately i'll probably just paint those um yes it sucks having to paint something that tiny for that reason all right so the chest does do the butterfly movement like all grazes all good grazes should always love that you do get the kind of reactor stickers that go there you do get the yellow sticker that goes on the back side back there which is fun We'll talk about the back here in a second. Uh, the other thing is the arms are a bit loose. So uh, when you get to the shoulders, so it does give you enough shoulders for double this, but not this. You only get the one that comes with the stripes. So the stripes are stickers. These thruster bits here are stickers. Uh, very crappily put in there. Uh, that's something that you should also paint. Well, here we are again. Uh, I do kind of have a khaki color, so... In theory, I could probably have like a khaki slash sand color. So uh, I should be able to actually kind of match that or a light gray or something, gun to marker. I did take some uh, panel liner and just went through right here just to color that in because that should also be done. Um, and these are on flippy flaps, sort of. It's a little different, if I'm honest with you. So, oh, wait, no, it's, it's the other build that's a little different. Shh, shh, we don't talk about that one just yet. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, so you get the normal IBO shoulders that go up and down. swing -a -doo, And, of course, you can utilize the elbow and the uh, bicep rotation to get a nice high teacher. And hopefully not break the thing. Alright, so uh, it does want to talk about the shield for some reason. So, I'm going to pull this off because... I didn't mean to leave that on there. And I think this is the same part you would get on a normal Schwalbe, and then this is where that really nice uh, shield slash claw mount would attach. So this attaches to there. You get more stripes for that. They call this the buckler shield, something like that. And uh, I will say the this, this part also seems to be a little mold degraded. It does pop into place, as you heard, but it's not a great fit. And the wrist joints are a little tight and loose at the same time. So, uh, I mean, the Gray's mold has been around literally since the beginning. I mean, it was the second kit ever made or the first kit ever made from IBO. And they're still pumping them out somehow. You know, six years later, they're <laughs> still coming out with Gray's kits. So, that's crazy. Uh, speaking of that, you still get the same uh, Gray's uh, side skirts. But you get the Schwab kind of uh, airplane wing front crotch section. And then even under there. And you get these nice little thruster bits that come out the front. Now, there's something a little bit different with this one. And I think it's because... Yeah, I'll show, I'll show off the parts you don't use later on. And it's because you don't have the leg side of the leg thrusters the previous Schwab's came with. And instead, you get these little filler pieces here and on the inside. And you do have to make sure you get those right uh, when you do them. And, of course, I added just a little bit... We'll talk about that in a second, because that just fell off. You guys know how I feel about stuff falling off mid-review. 
All right, so uh, you do get your thigh swivel. You can kick forward. You can kick way back, especially once the butt skirt has fallen off. And I mean once it has, because odds are it will. You get the extreme uh, double-jointed knee, which means he can kick himself in the backpack. But if your butt skirt's there, probably not. The brown, the brown calves that look like boots are just... That's an interesting look. Because normally speaking on a grays, you get all one color for the most part. You know, and then it's got the normal feet down here. It would almost be interesting to uh, grab some of my ground type feet that I've got left over if I'm not using them for anything else. Yep, and you got the ridiculous ankle swivel point armor here. Moves a little as you go. I did use my gray panel liner marker on most of it. Uh, and I don't have the poor type panel line marker anymore, so I'm having to use the old school fine point one, which is also a little old and wrecked at this point so doing what i can to pan line things proper when it comes to the butt skirt i will say i don't know what happened here so the actual back butt skirt will hinge but for some reason these little t-tabs here do not want to stay plugged in like it takes not much effort at all but i guess actually having that move is cool all right so this one is a little different in the fact that it has the three positioning thrusters here these are more or less on ball joints and then you have their little individual thruster tips here verniers as you want to call them they do move this one also moves as well but you can remove this one if you feel like doing so what's weird about it is like you either have the chest crunched up or you have the back crunched up one of two things Either way, because you got the pipe thing that comes across the back, and you have the chest that sits down low there. So it's a little weird when trying to position things just right. I do like the bunny ears, though. I'm a fan of red things with bunny ears, apparently. Okay, so uh, moving on from just the kit itself. Look at it way back there. We do have weapons. So he does have his own custom... Oddly enough, like machine pistol, like it's it's interesting because they're revolvers. Because you can see the actual the actual uh, drum right there, and it does have an ammo canister kind of coming down through here, which also doesn't make sense for a revolver. But hey, it's there, and uh, it, it's a cool thing. It also has the blade going on there. Nice, it's three piece construction. It's not bad. This would be an interesting one for a uh, one one hundred kit now it does mount the same way other ones do also look it's got the hammer so what hold on where's my light so it does have a hammer there which is cool sorry sidetracked so it does plug in the same way you do any other gray's weapon where it goes into the, the fist and you line this up and it plugs in either to grant power or stabilize the weapon there, see, look, this this shoulder slash bicep doesn't hold worth a damn in comparison. And look, this is a brand new thing, and look how kind of loose it is. And I would say part of it has to do with the polycaps. Like I said, I think the polycap molds are a little old at this point. And they're just not as stable as they used to be. I mean, <laughs> who is really? I mean, after the last two years. So, okay. So try to balance the shoulders and whatnot. And get him kind of make sure it looks pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, I do not have access to all the rest of my Grays kits. They are packed away. Uh, still have not unplugged or unplugged, unboxed all my Gunpla because honestly, don't know where I'm going to put it all. It would be awesome to have a full on now. You know, this this literally means I'm only missing a single a single Grays kit still. Even once this new one has come out, I'm still missing one. Still need that Galileo Schwab Gray's P. Bandai exclusive. And no, I'm not just going to repaint it. I want the original kit. With all the reprints we've been getting in the last couple of years, I feel like it's inevitable. But, you know, if you want some kind of comparison, there it is next to Wally. Also, uh, I'm going to read a little bit, I think, from the instruction book to actually get some description on this so if you are interested in that stick around if not well there's the end of the review for you so wait here
Okay, so uh, that's that would be Cyclase. There's obviously the gray is a nice promotion homage. So let's read this real quick. This is the MS that the former Gellhorn officer Cyclist Mayor stole when he killed Spear Officer Randley from his squad. Schwab is a mobile suit model that used to be deployed before Gellhorn's main force was changed to the Greys. The Schwab deployment project did not continue as planned due to its high development costs. Moreover, due to the Greys being able to keep Costs low. Schwab lost his position as main force right away. Very few units were produced compared to the Greys and Guy Rail. So they actually treat it as a different thing. So even though it's just the Greys with better stuff. Uh, let's see here. After Cyclist stole it, he customized it to his own liking and added boosters on the back and hips to significantly improve its mobility. What did he do to the hips? That's where I'm confused. As reborn into a whimsical mobile suit that Inexperienced pilots cannot operate easily. He also changed the unit's equipment and coloring, give it a different appearance than when he stole it from Gellhorn. Though it will be interesting to know is what color it was, you know, initially. And then right here, he said he used to be a Gellhorn officer, but he killed the Spear and fled. We already know about that. He operates 12 Custom. No shit. He stole at the time and at the moment is employed as a hitman at Omden Colony Company. He's a cold person who will stop at nothing to achieve his target, and he is also very skilled piloting mobile suits. Surprisingly very knowledgeable in the Calamity War. Ooh. Sounds like a pretty interesting character, if I'm honest. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, these 130mm caliber short barrel handguns are firearms deployed exclusively for the Schwab. Cyclist Mayor took them from Gellhorn's base when he stole the mobile suit, equipped them with blades, and customized Schwab. So those weapons are actually meant for the the uh, mobile suit itself. Schwab was equipped with a joint buckler on his left hand. Second, personally chose a small lightweight shield that would not hinder the mobile suit's movements. Good plan. Thruster unit, three thruster units equipped on the back of Schwab custom high mobility compared to the mobile suits with two thruster units. It's harder to control. Cyclase easy, easily uses them to their fullest power. Skillful pilot Schwab custom. So it, this would beat, in theory, this would beat uh, even McGillis's probably. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so that's nothing different there. Uh, mobile suit originally employed a hit, hit and away technique as main combat style, taking full advantage of its high mobility. However, in cyclist pilots has high maneuvering skill, making usual its targets down for one single close combat attack. That's pretty cool. All right. So uh, the other thing I want to show off. So because this is a Gray's kit, obviously we're going to get more Gray's parts than normal. So you do get the polycaps, and, you know, there's just a few that you don't end up using. I have so many IBO polycap uh, sets, it's kind of upsetting. And uh, even though the instructions tell you to do it, I didn't feel the need to make the axe or the standard uh, machine gun, because, I mean, he's got the cool custom stuff. Why would you bother? So extra bits there. And if you technically wanted to make it into a, uh, a normal Schwab, so to speak, you could keep the leg thrusters. I think you end up getting all the parts here. So you got the thing for the arm shield. You got the original uh, back thruster. So yes, that is a new one, the way he did that. You do get the original uh, thigh thigh boosters. Here's the blank shoulder up here. So getting rid of the stripey one, so you can totally do that. A normal uh, wrist mount thing, a commander style uh, head there. And of course, there's your uh, commander horn, as it were. And there's the other piece to the these things. So there's that. And on this one, you get the brown little bits that would go on here. So that's a good thing. And you can customize it further. If you don't want to use the blue boots, you can use the brown feet. So if you want to give it full on brown feet, you can do that. And you do get the little thruster bells. I'm sure you probably use at least one or two others as it goes. You do get this. You don't get the wire, so you can't utilize it proper. And then you get the extra little thruster connector there as well. And there is a couple other pieces that are customizable as it goes. And they are the backs of the hands. It does come with brown, brown uh, backs of the hands. So if you wanted to do brown hands instead of red hands, you could do that. So it's a pretty cool Pretty cool kit. I was looking forward to it from the moment that uh, it showed up on screen. I did not believe they would ever make it as an actual kit, or if they did, it would be P. Bandai. So I'm super happy that they did. Uh, it does have some mold degradation because this is even the Schwab Grays, I think itself was like the third or fourth kit made. So it was like original Grays, original Barbatos, Schwab Grays. 
It's basically how that went, like the first three kits. So we're getting parts that have been around now for probably close to six years. If I had to guess, maybe maybe five going on six, somewhere there, about. Yeah, because the IBO stuff was already out, because IBO is already reviewing a good bit of it, I think, whenever I started the channel. So either way, but guys, that's going to be it for this review. Make sure you stick around next time for the other new IBO, not quite a greatest kit. Hmm. Hmm. And I'll see you then. And remember, as always, keep on building.